Hello Libra. This is a bonus reading for you and uh, it's a five card spread and it's just the extra reading that we may come up with new energies or it may take off from the last one. But this is for Libra. First part of September bonus reading for those born on the zodiac sign of Libra. Let's see what we got here. Oops. Hoping for some positive energies. Hoping for something that will bring enlightenment to you. See what the beginning energy is, though, coming in. You, Prince of Swords in the upright, getting your energy back, trying to get your energy back, try to um, communicate with people, doing what you're supposed to in life, you know? But with the Prince of Swords, it also could be messages that maybe you'll send a message or you receive a message that is pretty quick and to the point with the um, Prince of Swords. To me, it's also like a page. You know, it is a page. So in the past, though, you were dealing with something where you want your, you were wanting your ships to come in, positive things. You're wanting to um, enjoy life, you know, just live it, you know, the way you're wanting to with the Three of Wands and the Upright. Obstacle is actually doing it, you know, with the seven of wands, getting on top of things. And it's an obstacle type situation where you're having trouble doing it for some reason. Maybe you're feeling down. Maybe you just don't have a lot of energy. Maybe you're sick. Whatever. It doesn't matter. But you're wanting those ships to come in at the same time. You're not, um, you got to get on top of things to really strive for it, you know. It's going to be like a weird uh, couple weeks in September. There's a lot of, um, stress type energy out there that everybody is feeling so you may feel a little lack of motivation too because of that current environment maybe dealing with the knight of wands this could be a fire sign it could be aries leo sagittarius but not necessarily um it could be someone that's a bit of a go-getter maybe somebody around you um has a lot of fire and they're saying, come on, let's go do this. Let's get this done. And, um, but like I said, you're not getting on top of things. It also could be that you're dealing with somebody who is, um, kind of hard to pin down. They're an attractive person. Like I said, high energy and they, they never, they, they're never, um, how can I say it? Still. So that's the current environment, but let me see what I got to clarify. You know, once I clarify, it changes stuff up. Outside influences beyond your control, what is coming towards you. The emperor in reverse. Something is, the emperor is about being out of control. It's about a situation out of control. Maybe you're dealing with an uncontrolled situation from a person, possibly fire sign, most likely Aries, but not necessarily. But you're dealing with someone who's a little controlling, maybe, or just situations that are out of control. And we'll clarify Final outcome, you're not wanting to collaborate. The whole thing, though, with this, I believe the universe is telling you you got to get out there even when you don't want to. Or maybe you're just dealing with some, you know, pretty heavy energy from other people. And like I said, this will pass. This is just warning you of what could be. And then, you let, you know, you just brush your shoulders off because it will pass. I promise you. So in the past position, you're wanting your ships to come in, the positive things, things of passion, things that you love, you know, things that make you feel good, you know, in some way, give you more energy. So the three of wands in the upright while you're there for Libra in the past. But steady as it goes, even though you're wanting these things to come in quickly, it will take a little bit of time. It's not that it's not coming. It is. But it's going to take some time with the Knight of Disc. Even though the Knight of Disc is a slow type of energy, like an earth element. could be an earth sign. But it's more like, I'm thinking, energy where things are moving slowly forward. But they are moving. The good thing with the Knight of Disc is that even though it may be slow, it is stable and steady. And it usually pans out in the long run. So the Three of Wands in the upright, Knight of Disc in the upright, why there in the past for Libra. So, yeah, and you're just, you know, not knowing what's going on with the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the High Priestess in reverse. It's like somebody is, 
It's like you're waiting and then you're like, I don't know what's going on with the high priestess. You can't figure it out. And you're kind of losing motivation a little, but don't, don't. It's just the energy. It's just the energy for the beginning of September, the first couple weeks anyway. <clears throat> and then remember, you're going to have like Venus coming back into your sign soon, your own planet, you know. And then Mars will come in. That may cause a little bit of strife, but also gives you more energy, you know. So, Seven of Wands in the upright as the obstacle, getting on top of things. You just don't feel like it. Could have to do with the Princess of Cups, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or messages of the emotional nature. Like I said, it could be a page, you know, giving a message, but you're just... You're just not feeling it. You're just feeling blah. And it says to get your emotions in a way, get your emotions right and get on top of things. That's another thing this could be, this two pair here. So the seven of wands in the upright, princess of cups in the upright is the obstacle for Libra. Why are you there? The lovers could have to do with a lover situation. So maybe you're hoping something will come in, um, that's to do with a lover. Or maybe you're so preoccupied with a love situation that you're putting things on the back burner when the universe says you better get on top of things so you don't lose out. But maybe, you know, like I said, those energies make you feel that way. Don't let it get to you too much. Just keep on trying. Current environment, you got the Knight of Wands. Like I said, this is like a very powerful energy where someone needs to move forward quickly and get their energy up. Or some of you are dealing with a, a fire sign. So the Knight of Wands as a current environment for September, the beginning of September, why are you there? For Libra, why are you there? Yeah, someone needs to make a decision. They need to change up a situation. You need to hurry up and change up a situation. That's what the universe is pretty much telling you. Um, you may have to juggle a couple things and keep on going to do it. I know it's difficult because with the Two of Pentacles, even though change is occurring and you need, you need to take on more than you could possibly chew it sometimes or feel like, um, it's necessary. And then eventually you could drop a situation, but we got to find out. So the Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles, why there's a current environment for Libra. So you're, you're struggling in the beginning. Yeah, you're struggling with the Prince of Swords. In the current environment, in the beginning of September, you're dealing with situations that are out of control. And that, that's beyond your control. Let me put it that way. So the emperor in reverse as the obstacle, not the obstacle, what is the outside environment for Libra? Why are you there? As the outside environment, why are you there? The emperor, why are you there in reverse? Ooh. An out of control, possibly beginning of a new love situation. Someone wants to offer you a new love situation that maybe you feel that will bring you out of control in some way. You may actually, for some of you, may want to start this with this person, but it's out of control. That could be it too. So the Emperor in reverse, Ace of Cups in the upright. Why are you there for Libra? As the outside environment, why are you there? With the Prince of Wands, Wands energy, you're dealing with uh, water and fire, a lot of it, and some earth, but and some air, so they're all here. But the Prince of Wands, like I said, a passionate message. Maybe I'm seeing some of you guys have something possibly coming in or wanting it. It's slow and steady, but you're unsure of it. Someone wants to go slow and steady, or you want to go slow and steady, but you're still unsure. The obstacle is actually get on top of it, do it. It has a, uh, a it has to do with a lover situation or um, emotional situation. Somebody with it, that is the current environment can be a fire sign. Maybe they want change from you or you want change from them or you're unsure what to do with them. You don't know whether to go forward and change and do, deal with the situation or drop the ball. You may be dealing with more than just one person. The outside environment, things just went way out of control, possibly with a new love situation and maybe even that fire sign or a fiery message or a passionate message. In the end, you got the Three of Pentacles. It's like no one's working with you or you don't want to work with anybody. Maybe you feel like, like I said, the situation's out of control. Maybe you're afraid to, to get on top of things. Maybe you're you're just afraid of um, forward movement <clears throat> with the energies the way they are. 
So the Three of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. That's the final outcome Why you're there. Why are you not... Yeah, because you you don't want to be disappointed. You're trying to come out of disappointment. You're just going through the motions, even though you got, I think, a new love offer or a new start in a love offer. But like I said, it was really out of control, a little whacked, you know? So the Three of Pentacles in reverse while you're there for Libra, and then we'll sum all this up because it is, yeah, you got <sighs> Prince... Prince of Cups, that could be uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You're not wanting to work with anything right now. Maybe you're wanting your freedom, because even though that's a fire-type energy, it's also someone who likes their freedom and likes to um, enjoy themselves. And maybe you're just waiting. You said, I got time to do this. I don't know if I want to get into this, because last time... When I did this, it was out of control. Now I just want to enjoy my life and relax a little. But somebody is wanting something towards you that's more passionate. I see a lot of passion here. Someone wants it. Maybe you just do not want to get on top of it right now because it's just in the way. Because it was an out of control situation in the past or the outside environment, which I'm thinking is both. And someone wants to offer you something, but you're not willing to work with it at, at the end. You're wanting to... Um, at the end, um, or the final card on the outside, or what is happening on the outside, <clears throat> is the Eight of Pentacles. It's adjustment. You need to make adjustment, or the people around you need to make an adjustment before you will commit or work on something, because that is the Eight of Pentacles. You do get a victory at the end with the Six of Wands in the upright and a passionate one, possibly with the Queen of Cups. Okay, so it looks like you're just waiting, like you don't want to dive into something because like I said, something was out of control and you're not willing to work on it just yet. You're wanting to weigh your options and see what happens before you jump into something. But somebody is wanting a new start with you, maybe more than one person, and you're just buying your time, you know, you're just waiting on something. So that is your reading, Libra, and I will let this go, and I will give you another uh, reading soon for uh, mid-September. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye.